Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. I am doing very, very good. And I know I've been a little bit inactive on my social media and uploading videos and I apologize for that. But leaving all of that aside, I'm going to be creating this gorgeous makeup for you guys, which has some purple in it, which I thought it would really brighten up the look a little bit, not make it too on the dull side. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed recording it for you guys. And if you do like this video, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I will appreciate it. If you want to learn how I achieved this look, just keep on watching. I'm going to start by priming my face and for this I'll be using the MAC Fix Plus Primer and I will be spraying this all over my face. Next, I am going to be using NYX Pore Fillers and I will be using this all over my T-zone. like to start by doing my eyebrows so for this I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. I've filled in my eyebrows I like to use concealer to clean up any harsh lines or any mistakes I could have done while I was filling my eyebrows <laughs> to be using LA Girls Pro Concealer to color correct my face. The green shade I will be using for any redness and the orange shade I will be using for any dark circles or dark marks. to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour in Light to Medium to do a slight contour under my foundation.
Fit Me foundation and I am going to apply that all over that contour. <laughs> Next, I am going to further contour my face for a more defined look and I'll be using the Maybelline's Age Rewind Concealer. After this, I am going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in a dark shade for contouring. To set my cream contour, I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit and I'll be using the darkest shades which are the lower three shades and I will just be going over my contour. To set my concealer, I am going to be using Airspun's Translucent Powder and baking my face. Loosened powder for a little while. I will be removing it with a damp beauty blender, but you can use a brush, it's all personal preference. Moving on to my eyes, I will be priming my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. For this eye makeup look, I am going to be using the Morphe 35O palette and to start off, I will be using this warm orange shade as a transition color. I'll start by applying this color into my crease and slowly working my way up. Next, I will be using a further darker orange color, which I will be applying into my crease as well to further define my crease. Same principles apply, I will put it in my crease and slowly work my way up. For a little more pop of color, I will be applying the darkest orange shade in this palette and I will be applying it in my outer corners and working it all the way up into my crease. Next, I will be applying concealer with a small concealer brush all over my lid 
to kind of lighten up my lid a little bit. <laughs> To give this look a little more depth, I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette in the shade Venetian Red to further deepen up my crease. For my lids, I am going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and I'll be using this dark purple shade and applying it all over my lid. After applying a decent amount of product into my lids, I am going to blend it out using a fluffy brush. For a little more color, I will be using the NYX Ultimate Palette and I will be applying this dark purple shade all over my lids. As with the Too Faced Purple shade, I will be applying this all over my lids and blending it out with a fluffy brush. Next, I will be going back to my Modern Renaissance palette and using Primavera to highlight my brow bones and my inner corners. Finally, I will be using the Maybelline's Gel Eyeliner and lining my waterline and a little bit in my inner corners. A slightly more dramatic look, I will be using the Ardell Lashes in Wispies and applying them with my Duo Lash Glue. Now I'm going to be using the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette and I will be using these two shades. For my favorite part, we are going to be highlighting with our Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette and I'll be using the shades Fiji and Seychelles. Fiji I will be using as a base since it's a cream highlight and on top of that I'm going to be using Seychelles which is a gorgeous gold highlighter. the Kylie Jenner's Lip Liner in the shade Candy. On top of my lip liner, I am going to be using Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in a Nude Tone. To finish off this look, I'll be using Urban Decay's D-Slick Setting Spray and setting my makeup. 